Oh my gosh, you guys, you're not going to believe this, what I just saw on, on this video from Jonathan Kahn. This is a great example of why you do not play around with the creator, okay? And, and what he says in his word, you've got to watch this. We're going to play a little clip, and then I want you to go over to his channel and watch the whole video. You're not going to believe this. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about how the, the parliament member of Turkey called down fire and a curse on the on the land of Israel? And then drop dead. I got the video. You got to see this. Hang tight. Let me show you this. You're not going to believe this. I'm telling you guys, you do not want to play around. Show you this. Could God play in with fire? This, this is playing with fire. When when you touch Yahuwah's people. when you And it's not just Israel. Israel, in the, in the sense that he's talking about, is not just the Jewish people. We're talking about the believers of the creator okay listen to what he says here I have given signs in real time in front of the world showing if you don't know who jonathan khan is he is the author of the harbinger and, and several other books that kind of tie in bible prophecy and what it means and and how we see that in real time all right so he 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 did a book the harbinger which was about 9 11 and it's an amazing read i know a lot of people don't like him but you guys Look what he brings us right here. Showing his hand and his will and his judgment. I'm going to show you two of these things that happened since the last prophetic message was posted. You're going to see them for yourself. The first is a video of what happened. The second is an image or more than one image, which actually follows up what I shared last time. You'll see it with your own eyes. You'll see the blessing and the curse, the curse and the blessing. This is Jonathan Kahn. And what I'm gonna show you is first for you who know God, but it's also for you who don't. And if you're a subscriber who has any doubt about the reality of God or his hand in current events, it's for you. And if you know anybody who has any doubt, send this to them. Now, before we go full blast, they're popping up like mushrooms, all sorts of fake Jonathan Khan channels. It's a good sign. God is using the channel, but they're all fake. Only this one is real. So if you're not getting it or not to miss any prophetic message, hit subscribe. Go subscribe, All right. you guys. The first of the two. And for this, you'll see a video. It just happened recently, but it goes back almost 4,000 years. God told Abraham in Genesis 12, I will bless those who bless you, and those who curse you, I will curse. This has been called the Abrahamic covenant. It's Don't recent. do it. If you bless Abraham, as in his children, Don't curse if you bless the Jewish people, you'll be blessed. If you curse them, you'll be cursed. Now, it can be taken in a larger sense. Whatever you do to the Jewish people or to Israel, it's going to be done to you. Now, me da, connected me da. We've talked about this. It's a biblical concept. What you put out will come back to you. And if there's iniquity involved, it will be seven times greater. I know what I'm talking about, you guys. I've lived through this. I've had to go through this own experience in my, in my own life and, and taught me, you know, some very hard lessons that I had to learn. This very concept, me da, connected me da. Measure for measure. Now, this biblical law has held true from the days of the pharaohs of Egypt to the days of the Assyrian Empire, to Babylon, to Persia, to Greece, to Rome, to the kingdoms of Europe, the Spanish Empire, the British Empire, the Nazis, the Soviet Union, and America. Quick check. First question. Which nation has been the greatest ally of Israel in the modern world? America. Second question. Which nation has been the most blessed nation in the modern world? America. It's not a coincidence. It's the Abrahamic covenant. That's the law. It's held true from ancient times to this very moment. Now, before we go further, for your own sake, this law doesn't just apply to nations. It applies to people. I've met anti-Semitic people in my life, people who hate the Jewish people, who hate Israel, and I've never met any of them who was blessed and who wasn't cursed. Never. Whether they were well off in the world or not, they were cursed. There was a darkness over their life, over their heart, over everything. On the other hand, I've never met a person, particularly a believer, who loved the Jewish people, who loved Israel, and wasn't blessed. Regardless of circumstances, it didn't matter. There was a blessing on their life, on their heart, on their spirit, on everything. So for your own sake, for the sake of your life and blessing, do not curse the Jewish people or Israel. Bless them. How? Pray for them. Get the gospel to them. Support ministries that are doing that. Stand with them. As Ruth was to Naomi, you be the Ruth to the Naomi of Israel. Now you're about to see the Abrahamic covenant activate in real time. For that, we have to go to Turkey. Interesting. 
Turkey is prominently mentioned in Ezekiel 38 and 39 among the peoples or nations that are going to come against Israel in the end times. That's another message, but take note. You may have caught a glimpse of this on the internet, but we're going to open it wide open. This was filmed in the Turkish parliament. Turkey is for all intents and purposes a Muslim nation, and it tends to be very negative against Israel. A member of the Turkish parliament gets up to give a speech. The speech condemns Israel, of course, and for Israel's actions in defending itself against the terror of Hamas. He goes on and on and on condemning Israel. But at the end of his speech, he does something not usually seen in a speech in a parliament. He calls down a curse upon Israel from heaven. He actually calls down a curse. Now watch, I want you to see it for yourself. The translation is going to be at the bottom. Halbuki bizden kurtulsanız, vicdan azabından kurtulamayacaksınız. Vicdan azabından kurtulsanız, tarihin azabından kurtulamayacaksınız. Tarihin azabından kurtulsanız, Allah'ın azabından kurtulamayacaksınız. Hepinizi saygıyla selamlıyorum. Okay, he just cursed Israel. And not only cursed Israel, but actually called down a curse from heaven upon Israel. Now, Genesis 12 warns, don't do that. Because if you do that, what you call down on Israel or the Jewish people, it's going to come back down on you. Now, watch what happens. <laughs> Man drops dead right there on the spot. Right there on the spot. I think Jonathan's got a really amazing point on this. You don't you don't do that. You don't curse y'all's people. You don't bring harm to them. You don't falsely accuse them. You don't slander them. You don't murder them. You don't steal from them. You bring judgment on yourself. And I'm not talking about just the Jewish people. This is all of, of y'all's people. Inter Israel is a very general term. Go and watch the whole video that he's got on his channel, you guys. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.